our channel. Uh, today we're actually on our way to an electric car vehicle show. So that's what uh, is going to be going on today. So I'm just going to be filming a little bit over there and uh, taking a look to see what's out there. me today we we're actually like I said we're on our way to an electric uh, vehicle show um, it just so happens that I most likely will be picking up my own electric vehicle on Monday today's Friday and um, so it's exciting to kind of go look to see what's out there and uh, and uh, you know this is uh, it's electric you know drive electric you know car week or something like that um, in the country right now and um, there's a bunch of uh, organizations that are putting on this show. It's, you know, it's supposed to be a pretty, pretty decent sized show, um, you know, with all kinds of electric vehicles. And I'm on my way up there right now. I'm going to check them out and, uh, you know, film a little bit. All right. Well, I'm here at the Tesla. Well, not a Tesla. It seems like it's a Tesla auto show, but it's a electric vehicle show. Uh, but you have a bunch of different cars you can see around. There's actually a Tesla back here, Model X, with a trailer that's uh, kind of interesting. It's got a bed in there. It's a television to watch TV. And apparently, uh, I'm going to talk to the owner in a little bit and uh, I guess see what the deal is with this uh, Tesla Model X with this trailer on the back, this little tent sleeper. But I'm here at the show. Like I said, there's, you know, the Nissan Leafs and uh, pretty much anything electric. There's some motorcycles out there. But um, I'll be going around, walking around, and seeing what else uh, is out here. So. 2015 Tesla Model S with a Tesla uh, mirror on the side. And it's a uh, Poolsville day out here, so we have a parade. Here we have a Tesla Roadster coming by. everybody I'm here at the uh, electric car show here in Poolsville Maryland and I'm uh, talking here to, with James and uh, we're taking a look at his trailer his Model X that uh, he just picked up a couple of weeks ago so it's a beautiful truck it's gonna be a little similar to mine but mine is the exact opposite it's black on the exterior and it's <laughs> white on the inside so we both have pandas uh, Panda Tesla. So I'm gonna get <laughs> that's uh, a great color combination. That's, that's yeah, I, I love it. So, but mine might not stay black for long. I may be wrapping it. So that should be coming up. Um, we're just gonna talk to Dave, uh, to James here about his uh, his trailer, which is probably it catches a lot of attention out here. So he's gonna talk to us about it and see what it's all about. All right, James. I guess just tell us about. I, mean, I guess we'll start off with asking you what year this is. What year Tesla? Uh, so this Tesla is brand new. I just got it three weeks ago. Um, I have 2,200 miles on it already in three weeks. So I've been driving a ton. But if you watch my channel, I love road trips. I love just picking up and going. So it's yeah. I kind of expected I was going to be putting quite a few miles on it right off the bat. How many? You get 2,200 miles on it? 
2,200 miles. In two weeks? Out of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I think it, we're close to three weeks. Wow. That's right still around a lot. there. I, I bought it on the 7th. You keep up that, that pace, so, you'll, you'll be like at 30,000 miles. Oh, no, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be out of warranty in no time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, if you guys um, don't know, uh, James does have a, a YouTube channel. And I just you know, want to shout out and have you follow him. It's uh, J, uh, James Claffin uh, on YouTube. So yep. go ahead and uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's a tough name, but yep. just look at it and spell it yep. out. <laughs> so it's a, it's a long range. Yes. So how many miles do you get on a charge? Well, again, so it's still new, so I'm still figuring it all out, but it was rated at, or is rated at 325 miles. Wow. And that seems to be at a pretty good speed, too. Yeah. So that's, I think, 70-ish miles an hour. I was still getting pretty close to that. I've heard people say that if you drive slower, like 55, 60 or something, you could do maybe maybe 400. I, I don't know. I want to test it at some point. I haven't yet. That's going to be hard for me. I know. <laughs> it is, well, it's normal for me because I came from the RAV4, which yeah. is the RAV4 electric made by Tesla. Yeah. Love the car. It's been great. But the battery capacity is limited. Yeah. So I was forced to do 55 and a 65 and people are flying past me. Yeah. I love being able to drive fast. I, yeah. I, I love it. Like I've always been a sports car guy. I, I love racing and all that kind of stuff. And it killed me to drive 55 <laughs> everywhere. Well, I have the Porsche. That's why I'm getting the P90D. Yeah. You know, I wanted something that'll do, it's actually gonna be faster in a straight line than my Porsche, but. Yeah. Um, well, tell us about this trailer. This is really what caught my eye when I was walking over yeah, here. So it's not something my, you see every day. This is my T-Rex range extending camper. I have a previous version that I've, I've documented on my YouTube channel. Uh, that other one was using a Tesla battery pack from a Toyota RAV4. And it was basically it was on a trailer and it extended the range of my uh, of my RAV4, which, like I said, I was just frustrated with the range, the limited range and limited speed of the RAV4. So I built the trailer at home to, uh, to extend my range. This one is more utility, so I can use this camping, doing stuff. And this one actually has a Tesla 85 kilowatt hour, 85 kilowatt hour battery pack. Wow. Where'd you get that? Uh, <laughs> I stutter and stumble. <laughs> all, right. all the time. So this one has a bigger battery pack and it extends the range of either my RAV4 that's still at home or the Model X. And how did you acquire the battery pack? There's a local record in Cortland. Uh, I never do it previously, but we've developed kind of a friendship. Cause, in, in New York? Uh, yeah, I live in central New York, in okay. Ithaca, New York. And he sells all the parts that I need. So you I go to water. him a lot. And, you got your water uh, for the antifreeze, huh? No, this is just for <laughs> camping and stuff. So yeah. we haven't used it yet because it's still fairly new. I've used it quite a few times. They're but... filled with gasoline. <laughs> in case he runs out. Yeah. No. Uh, but my wife and I haven't actually taken a trip together yet. My yeah. my son Caleb is 21 months old and yeah, right? he's not huge it. into road trips, unfortunately, at my the moment. Neither. He's not a huge fan of sitting in his car seat. So mine either. They we're always so... ask me when we're going somewhere, they're like, How long is it gonna be? And I'm yeah. Like, yeah, we're working, hopefully it gets better. But we've been doing front facing in the Model X here, okay. which I, he's a little small for that, but it seems to make a huge difference. And the car is so safe that, yeah, we think it's okay. <laughs> how many times, how far, how many miles away from Maryland are you, or from here? Uh, it was about 325 miles. How many times did you have to stop to recharge? Because that's what I'm kind of figuring out right now. I don't think I had to stop, but I yeah. did. So okay. I'm still testing out the car. Um, I don't want to get into too many details. It's like the empty. It's like the empty needle on your on the regular gas car. You're gonna you're gonna test the, you know, how far past the, the last red line you can go before. Well, it... at some point, it seems like the computers in the Tesla just stop and and re recalculate. So, okay. uh, still learning. This is the first trip that I, wow. I've come down here. This is the first time these two are connected together. If any of you guys are watching this, don't forward this on to Elon or anything. <laughs> I do not want Tesla to know about what I'm doing. But. Uh, I think I'm going to have realistically at least 500 mile range with towing this camper, uh, possibly 600 right around wow, there in, in good conditions, not in winter. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's it's learning experience still at this point. Like I, I literally just got these connected and done yesterday. Wow. But I've used but the worked. camper with the RAV4 quite, okay. a, quite a few times. Oh, wow. So, so this is a couple years old. I just finished this. Uh, late spring i think it was probably uh april ish when it was actually finally done and it's still it's not quite done like the rear door isn't finished because i think i want to do a kitchenette like maybe a kitchen sink there 
and the front, we call it the Caleb shell. The okay. front um, isn't done also, there's still some exposed foam. So you did fiberglass? I yeah, for, for aerodynamics. I, I didn't I, want to finish those two sections until I use it. I so this is still raw. Why. So this you you did all this. I just finished that yesterday. Wow. So with the the differences it's between still the two cars, <laughs> no, it's, it's cute now. It's, yeah, it's all yeah. solid. But the differences between the two cars, I built this to be the same shape as the back of the Rav Four, and the okay. Rav Four is a more squared off car. Mm -hmm. So it was close enough that it had great aero. Uh, really there was no losses there at all yeah. and you should show them the back of the door too when we get back over there yeah. again but I really designed it for aerodynamics because that's what that's like the biggest hit you're gonna take when yeah you it makes a huge, huge difference yeah yeah I was watching so, so I many... reshaped this for the, okay. the axe and that's why I just finished that it's not done yet yeah I was watching somebody else's YouTube when they were trying to pull a trailer and they put something on the roof of the trailer um, and the drag just oh, yeah. killed it for them. oh is it the uh, Oh, uh, fast lane cars? I think so. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I like those guys. I reached out to them. We might might work on something. Yeah, I was I was just watching that right now. I mean, I've been doing a lot of YouTube research oh, yeah. in preparation for my it, Model it's X. It's cool. They're doing something very similar to what I'm doing. So yeah. hopefully it's something. Well, apparently, I think it, they didn't have as much success, probably. Well, they, they're doing longer range, but I know well, they, they have the battery. I mean, yeah. this with this battery, with my T-Rex, it's a game changer. Like, I, I know that yeah. kind of sounds self-serving, but having a range extending trailer is not only going to mitigate the losses that you're going to have with towing it's going to give you more yeah so unfortunately they're, they're not cheap like yeah this this I'm was sure. a very very expensive build the yeah. battery pack alone was 5500 or uh, 15500 dollars yeah so it's it's not a cheap venture it's not, you know. <laughs> and i don't know if people are willing to pay that i think it'd be cool to make this a business at some point i just i just don't know if it's yeah. If that's even possible. I don't know if anybody's going to pay that. If you do a lot of traveling, I mean, eventually you can get to the point where you can travel across the country. You know, oh, yeah. And it's a lot more cost effective. I oh, mean, yeah. I've looked at the RVs and <laughs> it's a lot of money I, and I gas. I think the RV life is really cool. If there was an all electric RV, yeah. maybe the Tesla Semi eventually will be a. I think eventually we'll, we'll definitely have everything. I think that's everything. so cool, mm -hmm. but that's still, that's going to be a big money too. What's that? that? What's that little thing there? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I just installed that yesterday in preparation for this trip. This is a uh, brake controller okay. for the electric brakes. Oh wow. Um, I think I have the box. Is that, is that wired or is this something like remote? It's, it's a like... multi-piece set. So I do plan on making a review of this, an installation and review on my channel. Yeah. So check that out. But this seemed like a great solution for the Model X because... Oh, so it's like, it's wireless then? No, it's, it's all wired. Oh, so there is a wire behind there. You had to drill oh, a yeah. hole. No, I didn't drill any holes. Okay. You can actually see this wire oh, draped this going way. There. Okay. So I, I keep, I try to tuck that up in there, yeah. but... Um, I didn't even see it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's good. Yeah. It's, it's the black interior that helps hide yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have white and I have three daughters, so we're, yeah. it's going to be interesting. <laughs> I yeah. think white cleans really well though. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, like, I think I, it's a good interior. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I love the look of it. Yeah. And like you know, we're, we're not, mine has carbon fiber. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm declaring it because I'm I'm still I still got to go pick it up. It's not in my hand. <laughs> pay and, for it all. Yeah. Time. I mean, I got the check. It's just I have to approve. I have to make sure that it's everything's like the pictures and everything yeah. was like they uh, said it was going to be. Yeah, I so. have a video I just released on my channel. Uh, I think last week mm -hmm. that was a whole pickup process, the whole process start to finish. I tried to record as much of it as possible. I drove down to Mount Kisco from Ithaca, New York, okay. to pick up the car. And I wanted to try to just document it so people could see the process. I'll put, a, I'll put a link up there for them. Oh, cool. So, Thanks. Gonna, you know, so I have that on there. And in the video, I, I couldn't remember what I ordered. I didn't know if I had carbon fiber <laughs> or if I had wood. I, I couldn't remember. It, that, that's the least of your, like, you yeah. know, excitement. Like, uh, you know, for me, it didn't matter whether, whether it was carbon fiber or wood. It's just, it's a Model X, yep. you know. And I had the P90D, so that's, you know, yep. the other thing. Let's, I'm just going to do a walk around. This one is sure. autopilot. I'm guessing this, this one has autopilot but not full self-driving I didn't pay okay. for that option the yeah mine the option that I paid for was the seven seats yep uh, you, so they you just definitely see he definitely came straight from <laughs> yeah, the trip not clean it at all yeah that's a I, death I, I, trap I hope to get the a wrap a clear wrap and ceramic yeah at some point but man that's uh that's they're a lot expensive more money. <laughs> uh, I mean I got a regular vinyl wrap and it's still expensive but no nowhere near as expensive as a clear if, if enough people watch my YouTube channel maybe <laughs> they do it in a couple of years I got the black <laughs> wheels on mine um, so that's another thing oh yes yeah, so you got to upgrade yeah. there yeah 22 inch 
And so there's the back door. Uh, oh, yeah. I mentioned this earlier. This is, when it's closed, it helps guide the air around it. So it's a, it was a big aero feature that I wanted to add. If you ever see a, a tractor trailer truck driving on the highway, yeah. a lot of times they have what they're called trailer tails, which I think mm -hmm. is a proprietary name. But I contacted the company to figure out what their dimensions were. Surprisingly, they openly told me. So I, <laughs> I have the same angle that they have. You just scaled it. Yep. yep. And I uh, just incorporated it with this because a lot of times with campers, they're just a square flat back. Yeah. back. Yeah. And that's where 30 percent of your losses are mm -hmm. you, you think it's who cares it's after the car but it's what guides the air around the vehicle that really affect aerodynamics mm -hmm. and uh, i'm not an expert in all this i just yeah. did a lot of studying in order to build this as aerodynamic as possible and that was one main thing that i wanted it to incorporate what did this start off as this trailer Oh, it was nothing. It started mm -hmm. off as a battery. So I oh, built really? the frame. Well, I had somebody help build the frame. I, d I don't do welding. Yeah. So I built the frame around the Tesla battery pack. Okay. And so it's an all aluminum frame to save weight, which was more money. It was kind of stupid. I, sh mm -hmm. I could have just done steel and saved <laughs> quite yeah. a bit of money. No, uh, but alumin it, it should make a pretty significant difference in weight reduction from steel yes aluminum. and no but it doesn't seem like weight really matters when it comes to pulling behind the ev okay. aerodynamics is, is number everything. one yeah right that's the biggest thing is it has, has to be aerodynamic i'm giving away all my secrets right <laughs> now your people i'm gonna build one as soon as i leave here <laughs> <laughs> so aerodynamics is the main thing when pulling behind an ev okay and then having the having the battery to give you that boost in range not not just take away from your range actually boost it that's that's key so I think this is going to be game changing in the world yeah. of EVs and towing and camping. Definitely, it's, it's definitely exciting, and I'm looking forward to, to watching your channel and uh, thanks and seeing what else you what you come up with. Awesome. Well, thanks, James. I appreciate your time, and I appreciate you, uh, you know, giving us giving my channel a little bit of time. And uh, yeah, like, of you know, So I want everybody to go ahead and subscribe to his channel, um, and uh, I'll put a link in the description so that. Uh, I know his last name is a little more difficult to spell, so I'll spell it out for you. So you can cool. just click on there. And Well, thanks, James. Yeah, no problem. So we have a Model X uh, Founder Series. Yeah, very cool. You can tell it's AP1. You can see the side markers. There's no camera in that. But Founder, they're all going to be early. Definitely uh, not a color you see as often. It's nice seeing it in this color. Yeah, I actually, I like the color a lot. It's pretty clean. P90D, that's what I'm getting. So this would probably be what mine looks like. bell and any comments that you have any questions um, anything that you want to see on the channel I definitely um, look forward to any recommendations thank you y'all have a good day bye bye